So recently, the behemoth invited me to play alongside them on an early version of the new Castle Crashers DLC. This build included the fresh character designs, weapons, and even some custom characters. So with my limited experience of the DLC, I wanted to answer some questions as well as give my thoughts. Starting with, does the game feel any different? Well, yes, but actually no. Let me explain. The new fresh design makes old playable characters and enemies a lot more lively, with new animations and dimensions. This change is visual and does not affect the gameplay at all. Where you can feel a difference, however, is in the change of the Z axis. The Z axis is a line in a three dimensional space that represents depth and is perpendicular. It's basically just a diagonal line. Anyway, the Z axis hitbox is getting a slight increase for both the player and enemies. This means you can hit enemies a little bit further away when they are either above you or below you. On the Z axis. This also applies to anything you can hit, such as the volleyball, making the end of Sandcastle a lot easier for players who really struggle here. Overall, I would say if you're an advanced player who juggles a lot, then you'll hardly feel a difference, whereas new players might feel a slight difference if they're fighting on the ground. Now I imagine this increase will help in very niche scenarios such as beefy manipulation, but I didn't get an opportunity to test it. This Z-axis change is a quality of life update that's coming alongside the DLC. This means it will be applied to both classic Castle Crashers as well as fresh Castle Crashers. The update also comes with magic keybinds for mouse and keyboard players as well as the Green Knight heavy attack fix. In terms of gameplay, that's about it. So let's talk about the visuals. Now I personally love the fresh design. I feel like it gives the characters much more personality, such as the bears looking more serious, the fences having shiny metallic armour, and the Coneheads heads doubling in size. Yet despite how great everything was, there were definitely some flaws that people may not like. The first one being that most animations in the game feature the characters all design, and when that animation ends, they kinda just pop into their fresh look. This can also be said for the large bosses as their design will not be getting changed. Although the behemoth have said that they will be listening to feedback and are always open to changing and adding things after the DLC is released. You also have to remember that this is an early build of the DLC and things could possibly change from now to release. But assuming these points remain on release, then I honestly do not mind. It often results in funny interactions and I kinda like that, but if this is something that will bother you, then you can always play on classic whilst enjoying the quality of life improvements. Moving on to the weapons and oh, mm, the weapons in my opinion have had the biggest glow up in the whole DLC. Each weapon stands out so much more and have all had extra detail added. And there's also weapons that have had complete redesigns, which I personally love. On the contrary, contrary, con, con, contrary, on contrary, no. In British English, it said as contrary, contrary. On contrary, no. I, I'm just, I'm just not going to say the word. <clears throat> On the other hand, the animal orbs haven't really changed, but in all honesty, it's a small price to pay to not have an updated seahorse. No one wants to see an updated seahorse, right? In terms of custom characters, this build only had Herbert and the cat minion. The custom characters perfectly fit into the game and I think are one of the best inclusions in the whole DLC. Although you can get pretty crazy when making your own characters. So I imagine day one will be complete anarchy. And that's everything I have to say on this early build of the DLC. I had such a blast playing and I cannot wait to get my hands on the complete version. But in the meantime, I am so thankful to the behemoth for giving me this opportunity. We're still waiting on the Paint Junior magic reveal, so make sure you subscribe to stay updated on everything Castle Crushers. And don't forget to use the link found in the pinned comment and use code Wrecker for 10% off your Gamersops order. Now, into the stream highlights. Time Look at fight. the new Grey Knights. Look at the new Barbarians. <laughs> Look at the Herbert. 
Look at the Herbert <laughs> go! Herbert! Herbert. Herbert. We are Herbert. all it's witnessing Herbert's first kiss live on stream. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at that sword. <laughs> Somebody might like that sword. Look yeah. at this stuff. A very specific Isn't it person neat? might like the ice sword, in fact. Do you guys see Herbert? Do you think he's sweating or do you think that's paint dripping? What? I see sweat. <laughs> I know it's supposed yeah. to be paint, but you know he he can get nervous too. He looks really intense. Yeah. Yeah. He, he Even look... sleep paralysis demons get nervous. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Do sleep paralysis demons have their own? Sleep yeah. Paralysis maybe demons? maybe he's fighting his own demons. Oh. Please put your. Oh my <laughs> god! Get that hit the button. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that. It's me, everybody out of my way! Uh, release date and price will be <gasps> announced together. I got uh, the pooper! And then we've also teased that there's more coming to Battle Block Theater, <gasps> but that's unannounced. More! Yeah. More! Yeah, so if you're looking at this going, oh, hey, what about Battle Block? Well, you got, I got you. And if you're saying, hey, what about Pit People? I got you. Here we go, everybody. Let's not miss it. 12 seconds later. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Sorry. Wait, where oh, did I wait, go? What? <laughs> wait, this happened what? last time we played. I don't know what happened to me. Don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry, help is on the way. Oh, what even, what is that meant to be? I've always, is it meant to be like a blood pack? Like a, the po are you talking about the potion? Yeah, is it? Is it a potion? A blood is that what pack? It is? Like I, I always, blood yeah. pack? I always thought it was like a blood flasks. pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, that's, that oh is. no, Herbert's yeah. actually sweaty. <laughs> Totally Just normal. like real Charles life. Charles performed black yeah. magic and resurrected. <laughs> Wait, we should but have made them play this one at the PAX tournament. <gasps> that would probably be me. And, and he goes crazy and he's screaming every time he strikes. And it's really neat. So like, you know, just some of the ideas. Wait, that's... It, that's not in the world. <laughs> the Can you go down there? What? You can't it's get down there? It's not real. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Okay, we won't make you wait too long. Bye! Bye! Bye.